Here's an overview of how the MIDI accordion software in Arduino works. Uh, this is the sample program that I have, MIDI accordion key test with MIDI. That's just the name of my file. Uh, at the top, there is an include, so I'm including the MIDI library that is handled communication. Then first thing up at the top is I do a MIDI create instance. Now there are two ways to do this. There's MIDI create instance, I think default instance, and then there's this setup. Um, this allows me to specify a different serial port than the default. So default will on a Uno will do its built-in transmit receive pins, pin 0 and 1. In this case, I'm switching it to serial 1, which equates to the serial 1 bank on the Arduino Mega. The Arduino Mega has four UARTs. Uh, typically, three of them, serial 1, 2, and 3, are used by the user, and uh, the regular TXRX pins on 0 and 1 are left for programming and debugging. That's that part. All these constants here relate to map a key variable to a physical pin on the Mega. The Mega has 50-something pins, so I have plenty of pins to work with. This all depends on how you wire it up. So this is the mapping between the key and what pin is it is listening on. Scroll down a little bit. Now this is the other guy's code. He's defining the number of keys, which is 25, which is the same number of keys I have. What key off, key on, offset, this is where it's defining the center line key. So C3 is where he's starting. And he's setting the velocity to 100 fixed. I may eventually change that, but that's fine for now. Key map class. This is called the key map class. This is the map of the keys. <laughs> so it keeps an array, this key map array, of 0 to 24. In other words, 25 total keys and their current state. So the code always knows what key's current state is. Another variable MIDI key and then another variable key map the map so it's instantiating that key map. All right, now we get into the setup. Setup, you'll see a whole bunch of pin modes and input pull up. So for each of the 25 keys, I'm saying, hey, this is the key, this is the pin number, and I want it to do be input, and I want you to attach the internal pull up resistor onto there. What does that mean? It means that when not pressed it will be high or positive or one. When the key is pressed it'll go to low, zero. By doing a pull-up what happens on a microcontrollers is that the inputs can fluctuate, they can bounce around, pull-up prevents it from bouncing around. That's 10 second answer to that. Initiates the map, begins the MIDI object. So this is saying, hey MIDI, wake up, and I'm assigning it to the MIDI1 variable. Also for debugging purposes, I'm starting up my serial begin and then doing a print line saying, hey, this is the software that's running. Now remember, I'm running a mega here, so my normal serial debugging will be running over pins 0 and 1 just as usual. So my code feedback will show up in the uh, serial monitor just as normal. Okay. So what the serial is, it's printing the debug code. It's not printing what's actually being sent out of MIDI. Here's the void loop. This loops forever and ever and ever, and it's super simple. <clears throat> it checks a key, so it's saying check key zero. It reads the val, dig does a digital read for key one. Does the same thing for all 25 keys. Just keep in mind that this array is zero based, so it goes from zero to 24, which maps to keys one to 25. 
So it's reading one key at a time, and you think, oh, well, I can't do polyphonic. Well, it's looping so quickly that it's faster than any human could actually play the musical keyboard. Check key, this is more of his code that I just reused, which simply takes a look at the key and determines whether it's gone on or gone off based on the setting in the map. So it's saying, hey, is this the key? First are we in range? Check the value. Do get a value change. If the value changed, send off. If else, send on. And then update the map. Really don't need to go into detail on that because he wrote it and it works. And I'll leave it at that. Send off and send on are the commands that are sending the key on and off commands through MIDI. First I have a serial print. This is just for debugging. This is going to show up in my serial monitor. So just debug code. More debug code. I'll eventually take this out because it slows down things, but for now it's fine. And the MIDI note, the command is that MIDI object we created above, MIDI 1, send note on. It's always send note on. The key, the offset, and then velocity and channel. By sending a velocity of zero, you're effectively turning off the key. Send on is when the key is depressed. Again, object MIDI 1, send note on. It sends the key plus the offset. It does the default velocity, which I believe the code has set to 100. And it says channel 1. Uh, the benefit of using a mega besides having the separate serial ports is it has three so I could have three instances of MIDI I could have MIDI 1, MIDI 2, MIDI 3 each sending different notes so maybe I could do some if I had three digital pianos hooked to it I could have one digital piano playing with a different offset than another and do crazy duets. I'm not sure exactly why you would do that, but you can do it, and that's part of the fun of having the stuff done in software. So now let us open up the serial monitor, and I'll minimize the code, minimize my pictures there. <clears throat> so here we've got MIDI according key test one, and I'm going to manually trigger some keys on the old Arduino if I get my alligator clips working properly. So here I'm just touching a couple of connectors at random. So this is my debug code, right? Detect change and it says what key and that's 1 to 25 and then 1 or 0, 1 on, 0 off. And then it writes a little line 90, 10, 100. That's just debugging code. So this is not what's being sent through MIDI. This is what is, I put in my Arduino code to help me make sure that it's working, that it's reading the buttons, because I had to first see if it read the buttons. So if I want to actually look at the MIDI, I am going to use the MIDI OX monitor. So from a connection standpoint, I've got a USB connector, one of them going to the Mega, and that is providing power, programming, and serial code feedback. And then my other USB port, I have the Creative Emu uh, USB to MIDI uh, dongle installed, and that is what is actually going to be reading the MIDI commands that we're sending out through serial. So if I touch these again, you could see on the left hand screen that's my Arduino feedback code that's not real MIDI again and but on the right in the green in the MIDI OX output you could see the notes turning on and off and they are corresponding with things turning on and off on the left side so that is a high level idea of the code and testing it and seeing what sort of feedback you get again 
this is made a little bit easier by the fact that I'm using Omega and can separate out the serial between different pins. Uh, I also have access to a lot more digital pins, so I don't have to do any fancy matrix work. Uh, I could just keep it really dead simple. So that's all for now.